G'day, Ben here from Max My Profit. How are you doing? Uh, today's Facebook Live, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about a question that I actually got this morning. And uh, it's, a, it's a common question. I've, got, I've been asked this a few times and also had to deal with it myself. And the question is this, is what do you do about uh, negative comments that are left online on blogs about yourself or maybe negative reviews that are left on the review sites, things like you know Yelp or Google or Facebook, etc., or TripAdvisor. Uh, there's a lot of different avenues now for people who aren't happy to be able to go and leave comments. And of course, when people are sitting behind a, uh, a shield of what is I call the computer shield or the internet shield, they can leave things that are probably more vindictive or damaging or um, you know, more out of character for that person than they would if they were face to face. And so sometimes you get some really nasty comments and you get things that are quite damaging to your business and your business reputation. So it's really important to think about how you're gonna handle that. And this problem's not going away. And in fact, being uh, you know 2017 and into the future is gonna get worse uh, as the online world becomes more popular. And you know, you've got to have a bit of a process for yourself as an individual, as a business owner, but also as a business of how you handle those things. So I've got a seven different uh, ideas or tips that may be able to help you. And like I said, I've had to handle this situation myself where I've had an unhappy client who decided just to leave negative reviews everywhere, and I had to manage that. And because you know, there's always two sides to the story, but unfortunately, online, it's very easy for you just to be told one side of the story. And as a, uh, as, a, as a provider, sometimes it's difficult for you to be able to sort that out. So my first tip is to stay calm. You know, when, when you get something negative happening, whether it's a negative comment on a blog or a negative review, stay calm. There's no need to panic. There's no need to write an immediate response. Um, I, I love this saying, I can't remember where I heard it, but, they, but the saying is don't let a temporary emotion uh, you know, create an, a, a permanent outcome. And so you don't want to do something crazy. You don't want to react in a bad way. Uh, you know, first of all, just stay calm. So look at the review or the feedback or what it is that's happened and, you know, take a deep breath and think about, okay, why has this happened? Because I think um, there's a lot of lessons to be learned. Now, the question that I got asked this morning was, what do I do about it? How do I respond? Well, I'm going to give you my second tip. And my second tip is to do nothing. Uh, you know, sometimes we can get really worried if we get one negative review or a, re a negative comment on a blog or something like that. Uh, but the reality is it's just one, right? If it's just one amongst many positive ones, then you know what? Most people are smart enough to be able to overlook that and see that on the whole, as a company, you get a positive review and that people will look at averages. I mean, you go to TripAdvisor, for example, go and um, here's, here's a, good, a good way for you to just see how this works or the, the, um, the psychological effect this has on you as a consumer. Go to TripAdvisor and Google your favorite restaurant or holiday destination, a hotel, and just see how many terrible votes it's had. And I guarantee it's had some terribles, whether it's a restaurant or a shop or something like that. So if you're, uh, and as you read through that, you'll see that it may have, I don't know, 400 excellence or very goods and have five terribles. Well, the terribles are just gonna be there. There are some people who just want to whinge about everything. And I know that when I've had a negative review before, when I look at that person's profile on Google, they've left negative reviews for everybody, one star reviews for everybody. They've never ever left more than a one star review. That tells me that that person uses that platform to complain and that's all they use. They never ever say something nice. So sometimes doing nothing is better because now um, you're not gonna put fuel on the fire. Sometimes when you reply to something or you react to something and you start typing replies and emailing people or replying on a public forum like a review site, you can actually add fuel to the fire and start an argument in the public arena. And I don't recommend that. So my tip two is to do nothing. Um, tip, tip three sort of goes with that tip, what I was talking about in tip three, and that is generate more positive media. So encourage your current customers to leave positive reviews. So uh, you know, when people are going to look at the weighted average, let's say you have a Facebook page, for example, and someone jumps on there and leaves your first review and it's a one-star review. Well, all of a sudden you have a one-star rating. Now, if you had 65 star ratings and that person came along and put a one-star review on your Facebook page, your rating will still be like 4.9. Okay, so I really highly encourage you to have a system in place where you're asking your customers to leave a review when they have a positive experience. And there's several ways that you can do that in places within your sales process, but make sure you're doing that because it really is important. People will quite often leave uh, something negative when they've had a bad experience, but they won't freely leave a positive note if they've had a good experience. Some of you do, but a lot of people don't. So don't be afraid to ask for it. If a client says to you, that was amazing, say, would you mind putting a review on my Facebook page? Or you can do what we do, and we actually send an email 
email out that gives you links. So after you have an experience with us, we say click here to leave a review on our Facebook page, click here to leave a review on our Google uh, site for our page as well. And we find that works really well. Um, my fourth tip is that you can use this opportunity now to investigate what went wrong and maybe fix it. So if you do have an unhappy customer that left a negative review, use this opportunity to actually look at what went wrong and try and work out why it did go wrong and what you can do better. Uh, because it's important that you take all the feedback you can from your customers and you try and use that as a way for you to improve your business, improve your service and get a better result overall. So, you know, use this experience in that way. And I know that can be tough because sometimes you've got to actually cop the, the feedback on the chin and go, you know what, okay, maybe we did stuff up. Now, mate, I'm not saying you did, but maybe you did, uh, and use it as a, a learning lesson. Maybe you brought on the wrong customer in the beginning. You know, Maybe this person was someone who was difficult to deal with in the sales process, and you thought to yourself, geez, they're going to be painful to deal with afterwards, but you brought them on anyway because you just wanted the cash flow, and then later on down the track, you're paying the price for that. So use it as a, an opportunity to investigate the situation and see if there's something you could do better. Uh, all right, my fifth uh, tip is to talk with them privately. Take it offline and see if you can work it out. I see a lot of people, when they get something happen negative online, is they'll jump on their keyboard and they'll respond straight away. And as I said at the beginning, don't let a temporary emotion lead to a permanent outcome. Uh, you know, if you're... If you think it's a genuine issue that needs to be solved, jump on the phone. And this is what I've done in the past, and I always do this. If someone leaves something negative online, especially if I don't think it was justified, I get on the phone, I ring that past customer, and I say, hey, I want to have a chat with you about the note you left online. And that's if you can work out who it is. Sometimes they do it anonymously, and it's more difficult. Uh, but quite often you know who it is. If, you know, if you're not getting that many complaints that you can't work out who it is, then uh, you probably need to change what you're doing in business. But you know, when we get something happen, it's very seldom. And so when I do see it, I typically know who it is because we've had a conversation with them or they haven't been happy. Uh, and so what I like to do then is ring them privately and I say, hey, just want to have a chat to you about this note you left online. I didn't think it was 100% fair. Or maybe they want something. Maybe they want a refund or they want a del something delivered or something changed. So you can use that as a bit of leverage and say, look, you know what? I'm going to do this for you, but I ask you to remove that review because I don't think it's fair. Um, once you've removed the review, then I'll take the whatever the action is, the refund, give you the extra quality, whatever it is they want. Uh, so do that. Now, once you do fix it privately, announce it publicly. So if they don't take the review down, you can actually leave a comment on the review and say, hey, thanks for your chat on the phone earlier, John. I'm glad we were able to work it out and that you're now happy. Thank you very much. So that way, at least if they don't take it down, you've left a response there that helps the uh, people that come across that see that you're a proactive person and that you've done something about it. Um, tip number six, if you feel that the comment is false, misleading or not warranted, then speak to the platform that it's on and see if you can get it removed. Um, because quite often, if you know, if, I know with Facebook, sometimes competitors just pay other people to do it. There was a story of, uh, I can't remember who it was, of, of an organization where they had 100 negative reviews overnight and it worked out, they worked out that somebody paid somebody on Fiverr just five US dollars to go and leave 100 negative reviews or one star reviews. Well, of course, if that happens, Facebook is going to notice that. And if you write to them, their help center, they actually will get that reversed, which is kind of cool. Uh, it, it, with Google, it's you know the same thing. If you think it's unjust, you can write to them. You won't always get it removed, but you can try. Okay, And I think that if you feel it's not justified, then you should at least make that effort to try and um, get it removed so you can just, you know, get the clean slate back on your reviews. Like I said, if you've got enough positive ones on there um, and you can't get it removed, it's not going to make a huge impact anyway. Um, and my t seventh tip is then if it's on a particular site and it's on a blog post or a comment, go and check their rules because quite often um, the rules of that particular site will stipulate that something can't be offensive or have profanity in it. And if they've been really angry, if they've typed out this negative review or this vindictive comment about you and it doesn't fit in with the rules of the particular site they've done it on, just get onto the site moderator or owner. Let them know about this inappropriate comment that goes against the rules of the group and ask them to remove it. And that can work quite well as well. Um, you know, now, once again, you just hope this doesn't happen. You don't want to bring the wrong clients on. You don't want to upset your clients. But every now and then, we all make a mistake and uh, and we start a relationship with somebody that we shouldn't have, whether it's in business or in life. You know, we see this happening all around us all the time for different reasons. So really be careful about who you recruit on as a customer. Um, and if these issues do arise, you've got my seven tips on how to, uh, how to fix it. Hope you've enjoyed that. Until next time, have a very profitable day. Go out there and get some positive reviews. Cheerio.